Can an amateur with cinema gear make a better commercial than a professional with an iPhone? In this video, we're going to be shooting two commercials executed very differently. The first commercial is going to be storyboarded, shot, and directed by Bryce. He has access to my entire arsenal, cameras, lenses, lighting, audio, software, and me being the professional, I'm limited to just an iPhone. The question is, who's going to pull this off better? You guys get to be the judge. Once you hit the end, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of our commercials. You're joining us for our production day and you're going to see the footage we're working with in real time. All right, we've walked in. We're here. It's commercial time. We're going to shoot his commercial first. What are you thinking? I'll go first. Uh, my first few shots happen here. First shot, I need an aerial of the dealership with somebody walking in the doors. Christian, who is currently operating the BTS cam, I guess you're gonna be the pilot. I'm getting a some drone footage of the front of the building with our subject walking into the doors, like he's just arriving to buy a new car. And then Christian, you're gonna be Mr. Drone Pilot. Hi, pilot. I'll just have you walking into the dealership, okay. like you're arriving on scene to buy a new car. Yeah, so you're gonna be in frame with the drone. But yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll guide through it as we're going. Okay. I'll see if Christian's ready. You good? So he's just getting to the dealership. You get greeted by a dealer when you get to the dealership, right? So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna do the handoff or the handshake actually, and get ready to buy a car. <laughs> what you want, you capture me coming up the steps? Oh uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna pan this way, and then he'll meet you like right here. And your name is? Ty. Welcome in, what brings you in today, sir? Oh. We're gonna go, you're gonna go out, show him the prologue, and then once we get out there, you're gonna do a key handoff. Um, you have the key? I do have the key. Okay. So do you need that? I'll follow behind you guys. Um, and for the key handoff, I'll come in for a close up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, that was better. Thank you for your help. Yeah, yeah no I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll do my stuff whenever we get back because mine. For here, I don't have any people involved in it. Weirdly enough, it all makes sense once the video is put together. <sighs> I'm at a disadvantage here because you do cars. <laughs> We're entering like the St. Louis rush hour, which is kind of annoying. Highway shots are going to be off limits for me. Um, I can already tell. Clearly because everybody on the other side of the road has to look at what happened, I'm probably not gonna be able to do my highway shots. That was kind of like the centerpiece of my plan for rollers, things like this have happened before, but the thing that's important about shoots, you gotta be ready for anything. This has gone way unexpected just because of the traffic, the accidents, and Forest Park being a restricted zone for drones. Sometimes you gotta just think in the moment. <laughs> you said you got three in stock? Yeah. We, could, we could take them off your, your hands. Yo, I need one of these. Are you kidding me? Can you ride on your suitcase? I thought not. Moto Compacto. This next shot, you want to go up to Art Hill and you want to get a, yeah, you want to go get a shot of the prologue going past, right? Okay. All right. Cool. He's over here getting the shot. He's gonna come get his lens. But in the meantime, we were parked up here by the art museum. I wanna get some shots of the Moto Compacto because that's gonna build into my story. What I'll have you do is go up along the sidewalk and just go like right about here in the middle of the lane. Let's run it back, but now this way. Okay. I like this. I like this this scene. Turn the wheel towards me and then kind of just like lean with the right, like lean off to the right side. I'll have you look off over your left shoulder, like look at the statue that's over there. The statue. On three, I'll have you do that. We'll run that back. <laughs> you ready? Gonna start recording now. 
Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna give a decent gap behind it. That way, you have an indicator as to when we'll be there. Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> I think that should be a good substitution for that drone shot. I think I'm it looked great. I think it looked good. We'll see how it turns out in here. For continuity, I want a pull-in shot, like to park. Yeah. And then him getting out and then just walking towards the meeting like he's going to attend the show. So it's going to be you? Yeah. You're going to be the driver? Yeah. Just get it. For okay. Continuity purposes. Do you feel like you've gotten a lot of the shots you need? All except the one I really wanted. The drone? Yeah. I just want to get the door accurate for the thing. How do you feel about that? I'm trying to encourage you to do multiple takes, even if you don't think you need it. That one was better. Drive up, I got what I need. Cool. I got all, right. all I need. <laughs> so now that he's wrapped with all the shots he needs, it's my turn to use my beautiful rig <laughs> a phone. I love how he's like, do you want this? Oh, you can't. Oh, do you want this? No, I, I actually kind of He's just forgot. torturing you, <laughs> you with tools. <laughs> oh, you can't have that. I actually kind of forgot, I'm not gonna lie. Parking garage downtown with an arch oh, view. I'm cooked. No, just stay looking at one thing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna give him a call. Cause I don't know where he ended up. Ah! Yo. There you are. Oh, you gotta hear from me, huh? Pull right over here, and then what I'll have you do is I'll have you back into one of these spaces. Back into like this one right here. Just straighten out in this one right here. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. All right, to warm up, take a lap. Move Now is essentially the story behind the commercial is going to be electrify your journey. Since we're in an electric car with an electric scooter. I'm gonna use the 1X lens for this and we're shooting, let's shoot 4K 30, ProRes. All right, I am ready. I'm gonna start with like a slow walk. Okay, all right. I'm gonna try something different with this take. Okay, okay, okay. Load it into the back. Three, two, one. Go ahead and load it into the vehicle, but give me just a second. And action. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, three, two, one. And then... All right, stop. Whenever I say go, give it a little push. Give it a little oomph, some gas, or some zap, since it's an EV. One, two, three, go. There we go. I feel pretty good. I'm gonna get him actually coming around the... this. All right, cool. 
Did you feel good about that? You felt good about that? That was good. I liked that. Let me double check my shot list real fast to make sure that we got everything from here because I'm pretty sure we got everything. Now, this is gonna require a little coordination. You're gonna be driver. You're gonna be driver. How we're gonna do this. You're gonna maintain like a solid 55 miles an hour and we're gonna kind of be like orbiting around you. So we'll be doing some acceleration, deceleration, kind of going around you. Sound design is important, so I do want to get some of this audio here. And I'll also put up the DJI mic. Let's go ahead and get all of our stuff out of the car, just so you can just go back and be done. Yeah. Just merge two lanes over and then we'll, we'll go from there. You just maintain speed. That's all you gotta worry about. Merge one more lane for me. And then Christian, you speed up. Oh, an ultimate. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hold there, hold there. Excellent. Keep that keep that speed. Keep that speed. Okay, we'll let the Taurus go. Stay that speed, stay that speed. Christian, slow down a little bit. All right, slow down a little bit. We'll let that guy go past. All right. I genuinely didn't know how that was gonna go because we just continued to get, like people kept interrupting the shot, which happens all the time. I feel pretty confident in what I shot today. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, get like a ton, a ton. I still have some things that I would have liked to have gotten. Oh yeah. But what are you gonna do? With a time constraint, it's hard to get everything that you want. Yeah, it's it's challenging. Now we're gonna piece everything together and we'll put together commercials and we'll see what we got. Yep. Time to review. Today's the day we reveal the commercials. I'm nervous to see how you put yours together. It was nice being able to control my shutter speed, I'll say that much. I don't know why in 2024 <laughs> we can't even do that on iPhones yet. That's so weird to me. Let's see what we put together. We're gonna start with Bryce's. Let's get into it. Look at that prologue. <laughs> that worked. Definitely working. That almost lined up perfectly. I tried to get as close as I could. Okay, okay sound design. <laughs> yeah. This was your first commercial you ever directed. How do you feel? The footage came, better, came together better than I expected. In the beginning when I got it all together, I didn't think I was even gonna be able to make that because I didn't think I had enough. Could it have been better? Oh, definitely. Could it have been worse? Yes. <laughs> it's just one of those things that like you, you just gotta do it. Yeah. You just gotta like get in the groove and like learn how to do that stuff. Yeah. Do you feel happy with this video? I feel decently happy with it. It came together, like I said, way better than I expected. Mm -hmm. um, my focus with this one was trying to get the color grade. So like with my photography and video, it's totally different. Like mm -hmm. with, the video, you're boosting the highlights and you're lowering the shadows and yep. raising the contrast like super high. For this being your first commercial, you, that's better than a lot of first commercials I've seen from people. No, oh, thank you. Thank like, you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot better than what I've seen. There were a few things that stood out, but I see what you were going for. I see the story that you were putting together that somebody went to Honda Frontenac, picked up their car, Took it to a Muni show, mm -hmm. very St. Louis. Yeah. Like, and that's perfect for the target demographic, which mm -hmm. is the people of St. Louis. Right. So I was limited to an iPhone. Mm -hmm. I had to make the most of what I had. Um, and even though I am pleasantly surprised at how capable the iPhone is, mm -hmm. it's still an iPhone. Again, I can't control shutter speed, can't control ISO, white balance. I can't control anything. So like if I shoot in 24, it might just be choppy, yep. you know, because yep. the shutter speed is cranked up so high. Okay. Let's get into it. Right. <laughs> that moto compact 
really nice and i like on this frame like right here this says honda and it has front neck still in the frame yeah that was intentional and that's just like little details like that i've just picked up on just yeah. because i've been doing it for like a decade yeah in mine you saw like the brand placements like i did yeah with the like the license plate in this shirt but yeah. like this that's yeah. a yeah that's, that's a new level right there the whole day went so unexpectedly oh it did like we had no there was so much traffic not a lot of time the rollers i didn't even know if i could get mm -hmm. because there was so much traffic and it was like getting to rush hour like prime rush hour time the roller shot also almost didn't happen either that was probably the best out of like a three and a half minute sequence mm -hmm. that was probably the best i got yeah anytime we did the orbit twice twice both times cars interrupted the shot yeah. which sure public roads yeah that's to be expected but can i just be the main character for five minutes for five minutes can i have that please if i wouldn't have gotten those shots where i just got out and said like hey just ride around on the moto compacto let's i don't even know if i'm gonna use this footage but just i'm gonna get it anyways i think this would have been a lot weaker of a project without that so like if you get a creative idea in your head and it's like there's nothing really going on try to get the footage yeah. try to get the shot because yeah. you like you never know if you're gonna need that you have the idea and just roll with it yeah literally literally. <laughs> literally literally now it's time for you in the comments to decide what's going on what do you think about the commercials uh who do you think took this round there's also three more coming up mm -hmm. we have the next one which is rf home co which is like home renovation content creation collective like there's a lot of layers to that now this is where the gap really starts to close yeah because he's getting the experience <laughs> he's got the pro gear i mean like very pleased excited for the next one don't forget to hit subscribe so you can make sure you tune into the next one and have a blessed day